Hi guys, today I want to show you how to design and to use NTC or variable temperature resistor. These, uh, these resistors are very useful, these uh, resistor or sensor are very, very, very useful in some electronic projects. So uh, we want to create uh, um, a resistor which has uh, this characteristic in temperature. So this is the value of the resistor and this is the temperature. As the temperature increases, so here we are sweeping from 20 degrees to 100 degrees, the value of the resistor decreases. So if you have a voltage divider, you will practically see the voltage which goes like this. And this has many, many applications. Now let's run a, an octave script just to, um, to simulate this, uh, this, um, this function. So first we have the minimum temperature which is the 20 degrees and the maximum temperature which is 100 degrees. Our vector will be starting from t min with an increment of one and t max. So let's plot the function with an exponent with 10 times the exponential over one over um, one over uh, one minus over x. So something like this, um, or uh, one minus over x minus one over t min. Let's put 100 and slash x. Uh, then let's plot this function first with the dots and secondly with the the function itself let's uh, run and uh, uh, maybe that maybe th that was the fun okay uh, yes uh, this is the function that we want to insert in the lattice spice. So let's uh, let's just bring this function to an analytic spice. So just put the the voltage of uh, 10 volts and uh, um, first we put a divider so that when the resistor is low we don't have a short circuit and we have this uh, variable temperature resistor. So let's substitute y with r and x with temp. And uh, um, of course the param t min, which is 20 degrees. Here we put t min. Uh, okay. Now uh, let's run. Uh, let's run a DC sweep. So let's put uh, dot DC temp twenty to one hundred, and uh, we should expect uh, the um, function before that we saw in octave. Oh yeah, that's practically it. So now let's design a system which uh, in which the alarm triggers when we have uh, I don't know sixty degrees. 17 degrees, whatever. We should put uh, a comparator with uh, a DC voltage supplied let's for instance put 10 volts and let, let, let's, let's just put a uh, reference voltage of uh, 0 0.5 millivolts 0 0.5 volts and let's connect it like this let's run the simulation and uh, let's do again Okay, this is uh, more or less what I was expecting. No, no, this is exactly what I was expecting. So uh, the op amp is uh, saturating whenever the threshold is triggered. So we, we can exploit this information with a LED, photodiode, whatever you want, with a microcontroller. So the temperature has been reached. And now we have to do something. Let's put uh, a load here with a resistor. And a LED.
So if everything is done correctly, the LED will turn on whenever the temperature is reached. And uh, 20 and uh, 25 milliamp milliamps is flowing into the LED. You can even uh, stretch this project by reaching by reading this voltage. Let's call it uh, out. And by putting a photodiode, so which is basically a, uh, a, a, a uh, by putting a phototransistor, which is basically a transistor which has the base which can turn on if the the light is emitting. So let's just connect this transistor with 10k as pull up, and this tra and this transistor, so this LED will turn on only when the voltage here is uh, greater, uh, when the temperature is uh, effectively greater than, uh, is effective greater than, um, than 5 amps. So what we, what we are going to do is to put a control, a controlled voltage, which is called the behavioral voltage, which can uh, use also the if expression so if the voltage v out is greater than 3 volts it means that the led is on and so we can generate five so we can turn on this transistor so five zero the expression should be like that. Let's just put a base resistor of 1 kilo ohm and a common transistor amplifier, 2N2222. Let's run the simulation. And, uh, the, tra and the voltage is on. Okay, so the, also this uh, transistor is on exactly when... The transistor is on exactly when the... Um, exactly when the voltage here is uh, on. Since this is a common source configuration, you have the inverted signal as the output, and then you can exploit this information to an ADC controller, uh, whatever you need. So basically, when the signal goes to zero, it means that you are dying. I think that uh, this project is uh, very, very fun to do, and um, thank you for your attention.